Hi, and welcome to Campus Mortgage. Today we will be discussing part one of a three-part video series, which will cover review of the loan estimate. We will cover the definitions of the loan estimate, the purpose and timing of the loan estimate, and lastly, we will take a look at what's inside the loan estimate. What's inside a loan estimate? A loan estimate is a three-page form that the borrower receives after applying for a mortgage. The form provides the borrower's important information, such as the estimated interest rate, monthly mortgage payments, and total closing costs for the borrower's loan. The loan estimate shows the costs associated with closing on the borrower's mortgage, as well as over the lifetime of the loan. The lender is required by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau to provide the borrowers the loan estimate no later than three business days of the receipt of an application. When there is a change circumstance after the loan estimate has been provided, the lender can revise the loan estimate within three business days. A revised loan estimate generally can be provided no later than seven business days before consummation. The form uses clear language and is designed to help the borrower understand the terms of the mortgage loan. CFPB requires all lenders to use the same standard loan estimate form. Let's take a quick look to what's inside the three-page loan estimate. The first page contains basic information such as the borrower's name, address of the property, and sales price or appraised value. It shows the loan terms. It also shows projected payments. And lastly, costs at closing, which includes estimated closing costs and estimated cash to close. The second page provides loan costs, other costs, and calculating cash to close. Generally, loan costs are those costs paid by the borrower to the lender and third parties, and other costs includes taxes and recording fees. The third page provides comparisons, other considerations, and confirm receipt. The comparison table discloses information related to the cost of the loan in five years the annual percentage rate, and the total interest percentage. Other considerations may include appraisal, statement detailing any amount that may be imposed for a late payment, whether the lender intends to service the loan or transfer it to another servicer, and lastly, the confirmed receipt. And last but not least, Please take a moment to read our disclaimer. As always, the information contained in this video is time sensitive and subject to change without notice. For more tips, videos, and for a full list of courses offered by Campus Mortgage, please visit our website at www.campusmortgage.org. Thank you and make it a great day.